This story is real, it could well be a story. Because many stories are born from stories that really happened, and as time goes by, as they tell about each other, like all stories. The truth is gradually transformed. In story. Well, this story happened in a small town in Austria, and it is such a small town that almost no one knew about it, except, of course, those who lived in it. Like all towns this one also has a temple where people go to pray, calm down and alleviate their sorrows. In almost all the temples there is a choir that sing and encourage the parishioners, that's the name of the people who come to the temple, to sing and participate in the celebration. Of course those of the choir sing and do it very well, then the parishioners not so much there are some who are out of tune that I don't even tell you, but those of the choir do not. Those of the choir, they rehearse, meet and have someone who directs them and tells them whether they are doing it right or wrong. For example, that Pepito enters before time, who directs him says. Pepito A. We have to wait. If Juanita sings louder than the others, she says, Juanita lower, that in the choirs you have to fill in. Paste means that no one stands out above the others. Christmas was approaching, and the choir was preparing carols to sing at the Christmas celebration. That was the celebration that everyone liked the most. They put on some hats and sang next to the Christmas tree full of lights and colored balls. That was also the celebration that all the townspeople liked the most because even if they sang well or badly, everyone participated and then at the end of the celebration they drank hot chocolate and exchanged gifts. As I say, they were all busy preparing for the party, some rehearsing, others wrapping gifts and others preparing the chocolate. The temple had an organ, the organ is like a piano but it has pipes through which the sound comes out. There was little or nothing left for Christmas Day and the choir rushed to rehearse the Christmas carols on the organ. The organist sat down at the organ and alas, that the instrument did not work. He stepped on the pedals, and nothing. He fiddled with all the buttons, pressed all the keys on the organ, and nothing at all. The only thing that came out of the tubes was a pfffff, or a fart. What would they do? They could not sing without the organ. Christmas was the most important holiday of the year, and the one that everyone liked the most in the little town. How could they celebrate that party without music, without songs, without the temple organ? Go disaster! The parish priest of the temple, anguished by the sadness of the members of the choir, thought, thought and thought and thought so much that he suddenly remembered a friend of his named Gruber and that he was a musician. If he asked her to come to the Christmas celebration that night, he could accompany the choir on his guitar. He went to the city where Gruber lived and told him everything that was happening in his little village. Gruber looked at him and was very happy. Because he was just composing a new Christmas carol and he was also thinking about who he could interpret it. Gruber played his composition on the guitar and just as by art of Burley Burlock they began to put lyrics to the new Christmas carol. Once they finished it, they looked at each other satisfied. The celebration of Christmas was resolved in the small town, even if it was without an organ and it was only played with the guitar. It would be less grand than with the organ but at least the choir could sing it. That Christmas night in the small town of Austria and once the choir had learned the lyrics. The most famous Christmas carol of all time was sung for the first time accompanied by a guitar. What do you think? You see. Sometimes the greatest things happen for reasons that we do not even suspect, who was going to tell the parish priest and Mr. Gruber that over the years that Christmas carol would become the most famous of all and that it would be sung around the world? Question mark. 
It is said that this carol that you surely know is sung in more than 300 languages around the world. They also say that on Christmas Day 1914 during the terrible First World War the soldiers of both sides joined together and sang this Christmas carol because it was the only one that everyone knew and that night they stopped dropping bombs and not fired a single one through. But hey, let's see, you finally know what Christmas carol I mean. <laughs>